This is Anna Maria Chen from CorporateProfile.com with our Corporate Profile of CellSci, ticker CVM on the New York Stock Exchange. CellSci is an advanced stage immunotherapy company with a platform of technologies that can potentially treat a variety of cancers and viral diseases. Joining us today is CellSci Corporation CEO Gert Kirsten. Multikine is an immunotherapeutic drug. We envision that if we're successful, it will become a fourth alternative for people who've just been diagnosed with cancer. If you think about the progress in cancer, there's been very little for those people who've just had cancer diagnosed. Generally, what's offered to them is surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy. We would like to do away with those I don't know anyone who wants those treatments. We may still need them, but we want to offer a fourth treatment. We want to offer something that works with the body, something that boosts your immune system. So we, we are using it currently in a phase three cancer study in head and neck cancer. We are also going to be using it in HIV infected men and women with human papillomavirus caused anal warts. And these are not the anal warts that you imagine. If you look at the picture, you will understand. Our phase three trial for head and neck cancer is designed to establish a new standard of care in the field of head and neck cancer which, by the way, is 6% of the world's cancer cases. So that's a big goal. The treatment throughout the world is the same standard of care. It's surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy right after the diagnosis. You do not want to have a recurrence. We are running the largest clinical trial in the world for head and neck cancer because we believe that you need something very large to change the standard of care. We are also running a clinical trial that's focused on improving overall survival, which is the gold standard uh, for approval of cancer drugs. We recently announced that we signed what's known as, known as a crater cooperative research and development agreement with the U.S. Navy. The most famous crater is the crater between Bristol Myers and the U.S. government for the development of the Taxol drug, called, uh, a cancer drug called Taxol in the 1990s. Essentially, by this agreement, the U.S. Navy will be running studies with our product Multikine, which is the same one that's in the phase three clinical trial against head and neck cancer, but they will be running it for different patient population, uh, namely for HIV infected men and women with anal warts, which is a disease caused by um, the human papillomavirus. About 10 years ago, this disease didn't really exist because HIV infected people tended to die from HIV. Now the medicines for HIV infected people are much better and they live with the disease. But they cannot control the human papillomavirus, which is the number one sexually transmitted disease in the world. And so the HPV tends to cause all kinds of problems. You now have in HIV infected people a looming epidemic of anal warts, anal cancer, cervical dysplasia, and various other HPV-related diseases. We hired a leading clinical research organization to run our phase three clinical trial several years ago. Unfortunately, shortly thereafter, that company was acquired in a roll-up by another private equity firm. The team working on our phase three study dissipated. They tried to reconstitute it. They made all kinds of promises. Make a long story short, we had to let them go for lack of performance and enrollment in the study in April of this year. 
we have had very little news and the stock has suffered because of that. In April, we hired two new CROs, one of whom actually invested 10 million of their own money that they get repaid only upon the successful sale of the product Multikine. We are now at the point where the phase three study, which by many people has now been considered to be dead, is making a very strong comeback. We just announced uh, approval in, in another country and we think that many, many more countries and many, many, many more clinical centers will be coming online here. We're also about to start the clinical trials with the U.S. Navy, and we think that indication anal warts can move much faster because of the nature of the disease. The current treatments are not effective. The current treatments have very, very fast recurrence, so therefore, um, if we want to show that we're better, we just need to show over a short time period that the disease hasn't come back. So there's a lot happening right now. We just filed an arbitration against a company called Inventive. Inventive is the company that bought up the CRO that ran our phase three clinical trial, which, you know, wasn't done the way it should have been done. Inventive caused us great harm, and we have filed an arbitration for 50 million plus against Inventive. This is binding arbitration um, under the rules of the contract, and we believe that we will be successful. If you want to learn more about CellSci and Multikine, you can visit the company's website at CellSci.com. Their ticker is CVM, and they trade on the New York Stock Exchange.